Uh, I am Christian Anderson Smith, more commonly known as C.A. Smith. I'm a songwriter. I write all sorts of music, but I write folk music pretty much. Yeah, you're a nice guy, no doubt, and I would really like to help you out. But the problem is, since 2004, people don't buy records anymore. I said, don't lie, Simon Cowell. The idea initially was that I was going to be an actor, but then, you know, I... I started writing these songs and I fell into that by accident. Then I thought it might be safer to try and get myself... Uh, my dad worked at a top 40 radio station, so um, I listened to an unusual amount of radio and an unusual amount of popular music. Because it's, I always say that if your dad's a butcher, you eat a lot of bacon. So uh, I ate a lot of bacon at home. Perhaps my most valuable uh, record in my collection is the D.D. King Funky Man single, which is, I don't know anybody else who has this record, what this is, this is uh, D.D. Ramon quit the Ramones to become a rapper. So I found a dealer. Around 90, 91 or 92, I started my first band. That band was called Gorp. You know, you know things happen with, with bands and they started basically writing with without me. Um, I was seeing that I was going to be kicked out of the band sooner or later, which I didn't, you know, I, I mean, you know, I, I knew it was going to happen, so it was like, okay, well, what am I going to do? At that point, I was a drummer, um, a drummer who could sing. So how do you write a song on drums and, and sing? It's not going to be a very good song. I didn't know how to play any one instrument that well. So why not play them all together? It was supposed to be a rapper name. It was like, you know, like a stoned moment where, you know, uh, where if I had a rapper name, what would it be? Well, it'd have to be MCCA, you know, but you, you do it phonetic, so it's macaw. And, and the mayor bit was like, uh, Mayor McCheese, who was like, at McDonald's, there was like Ronald McDonald and Grimace and the Hamburglar, and then there was the mayor of the city who had a big cheeseburger for a head, and that was Mayor McCheese. Two years after I, I started Mayor McCaw, a, a, a municipal election came up. Um, in my hometown in Hamilton and it just seemed like the appropriate thing to do. I thought at the time, I thought at, uh, at the time that it would be a great publicity stunt, which it, it ended up being, but um, as soon as I got to the first debate, I realized I had to take it kind of half, half seriously. Although the mayoral, you know, the run for mayor bit, the mayoral experience that I had was an amazing experience and stuff. It was also uh, a very lonely experience where I had a lot of time on my own to think about things. I took a risk when caught in you and always told the truth. I guess my best was good enough for you. You made me see the best in me. I know you the really nice thing about London, about coming to London initially, especially, was that it was like I'd come out of nowhere. You know, nobody had really seen me outside Canada, so to come along and especially doing the one-man band, being able to play like, you know, four or five instruments at once. And as far as everyone else was concerned in England, they were like, oh my god, you know, like... Who is this guy? Where did he learn how to do this? Oh gosh, he must be really smart or something, you know, but no, actually it was because I was practicing in my bedroom for 10 years, you know, but people hadn't seen that in England, so it was nice being able to go, here I am. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't, I don't regret 
giving up the one man band because it I wasn't enjoying it at the time you know and I think I needed to break from it for I, I mean the main reason I needed the, the break from it other than me not enjoying it is that when you're doing something like a one-man band even if you're writing the best songs in the world people aren't going to be paying attention to that when you're tap dancing on the bar or you're playing the bass with your foot. My priority at this moment is to write really good songs, you know, truly. That's, that's my priority, where it's like, um, it always hasn't been in the past. You know, in the past my priorities were maybe, you know, to be a crazy one-man band and to, uh, you know, just, just disguise uh, what I really was or maybe am, which is um, a thoughtful person. I'm not going to be a rock star, you know, I'm like, you know, nearly 40 years old and um, and that's, that's all right, you know. So what I really, really want to do now is just make music that's hopefully relatable. Best I can.